G'day everyone, Wayne Grooms from Landon Bay Fishing, South East Queensland. We're over at Bribie today, Banksia Beach to be specific. It's one of my favourite land based fishing spots. It's very close to Brisbane, probably only an hour out of Brisbane. You'll see here I've just pulled the worms out of the esky. I've got two little buckets of worms. This is the last part of this bucket. I'll put them in the sand there and that'll be my bait for probably the next hour or so. Really important that you look after your worms. You know, you spend a lot of money or you spend a lot of time digging them. These ones are blood worms and you don't want them to die and they will die if you don't look after them. Really important that they're in salt water and you change that salt water every four to six hours. If you've got them at home, I keep them in an esky with a little ice block in there. Try and keep the temperature around that 18 degrees, so relatively cool. And make sure you change that water at least three or four times a day. The more often you change it, the longer they'll live. These worms here are about three days old and they're still really, really good, really alive. Well worth looking after them. I'm just cast out here. I'm casting out. It doesn't look like there's any structure here, but there's a ledge. You can see that dark water. Well, we've got a running tide right now, and it's fairly low. So I'm trying to get the bait just over the other side of that ledge. The gear I'm using today is a very light whiting rod. I've got a uh, Stratic there, so I think it's a 1500 Stratic spool with four pound line. Hooks I like to use are the Mustard Vikings. Uh, they're probably my main hook. I also like the True Turns and also the uh, Aberdeen Ultra Thins. The trace is probably the most important part of whiting fishing in my opinion. The longer the trace you can put on your rod that you can handle, the better. Um, as a rule, I like to go two thirds of the length of the rod and you'll find you should be able to cast that fairly well. So uh, really important to have a good long trace. The reason that is, is you don't want the whiting to, to feel that sinker. Lighter the sinker the better. I think I'm using a three ball here at the moment because the current just over that ledge is fairly strong. Beautiful whiting here. That one there went 39 centimeters. Absolute stonker. But if you can use a, white, a lighter sinker, the lighter the better. Just put the worms in the sand that you're going to use over the next half hour and leave the rest of the worms in the salt water they'll last longer. Now when you thread a worm on a hook, keep it simple. It's easy, just straight onto the hook, expose the barb and you're ready to go. Now you can put it on a hundred different ways, it'll work every way, but I can tell you now you don't get easier than this way and it works, nice and simple. Banksia Beach has got yabby banks all the way up it. And I'll tell you, you find the food source for the fish you're chasing and the fish won't be far away. So what the fish will be doing is sitting on this ledge just waiting for the, uh, the tide to rise over these banks then they'll come up and they'll uh, hunt for yabbies. Another nice whiting here. This one goes 35 and uh, a very good feed. We managed a, a quite a handsome feed today. It, I think we finished with about six whiting and a very nice brim. I prefer the rising tide for my whiting fishing. However, you will catch them on any tide, whether it's rising, whether it's it's going out. All you need to do is find the food source or some structure, and uh, you'll find. And when I say structure, you don't need much structure. All you need is a good ledge. So a good depth change, uh, a bit of weed, particularly uh, important is the food source and in this case we're on Yabby Banks. Yeah that one that one there went just over 30 and uh, as they all did during the, the course of this session they were all around that 30 to 35 mark except for that one that went 39 it was absolute stonker. Bravion, absolutely fantastic place to visit. Don't go past it. And you can see here I finish up with a nice little, I think this one, 33 centimeter brim, 32, 33 centimeter brim. I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll catch you next time.